the wasteland in Fallout is home to many ruthless creatures. Sure, most of them will gladly kill you, but sometimes there are things worse than dying. These are the 7 scariest Fallout creatures. Number 7. Cazadors. Ah, Cazadors, where do we even begin? First, let's take a quick look at what they were before they mutated. Before the war, they were Tarantula Hawks, a type of spider wasp. Tarantula Hawk, Spider Wasp. If the name doesn't scare you, the fact that researchers have said that its sting is among the most painful in the world should. Cazadors take everything bad about the Tarantula Hawk and crank it up to 30. Their biggest hell among the fastest creatures in the wasteland travel in packs, so even if you manage to kill one, there are several more coming after you. The venom they inject into you via their giant f***ing stinger will kill you relatively quickly, but it will hurt like a motherfucker. And they have spikes on their back, because why not? Number 6, Death Claws. You might expect Death Claws to be higher on this list, but considering the other monstrosities that roam throughout the wasteland, Death Claws aren't that bad. In fact, radiation caused them to lose the ability to blend into their environment, like the chameleons they evolved from, so they're not as horrifying as they could be. Just imagine a Death Claw that you can't even see. Death Claws are strong as hell, fast as hell, tough as hell, and almost look more like a demon than a mutated chameleon. The fascinating thing about Death Claws is that they were actually developed by the US Army before the Great War, as a way to assist soldiers in combat. Then the Master refined them and helped make them what they are now. The reason they aren't higher on this list is because they will almost certainly kill you if a Death Claw views you as a tasty treat, but they won't make you linger on for days, dying a slow, painful death. By the time you're close enough to think about whether their razor-sharp claws are actually 12 inches long, you'll probably be dead already. Number 5. Spore Carriers Spore Carriers, like so many horrible things on the west coast, are the result of experimentation at Big Empty. The fungus that creates the spore carriers, Bavaria moricana, was created before the Great War to infect common garden pests, presumably to kill them. A sample of it was later taken to Vault 22, where it would become part of the vault's experiment. The fungus seems to be an airborne pathogen, as spore carriers can spray spores around itself, presumably as either a defense mechanism or as a means to attack its prey. A terminal entry found in Vault 22 concludes by mentioning a downside of the fungus, that it takes 10 to 20 days to kill its prey. The symptoms of Bavaria moricana are mostly unknown. Terminal entry suggests that it has symptoms similar to that of a viral infection, and that patients have nasty coughing fits. Outside of fallout, symptoms of a viral infection range from relatively unpleasant things like coughing, a fever, and muscle aches, to more severe symptoms like nausea, chills, vomiting, and diarrhea. Despite the likely excruciating death Bavaria victims suffer, the creatures we've come to know and love as spore carriers are not keeping their host alive. They merely inhabit the body of the former living person. Number 4. Super Mutants You may start to notice a trend as we go further down this list. Super Mutants are former humans who have been exposed to some form of forced evolutionary virus, or FEV, and survived the mutation process. Where and how they go through their transformation depends on the game. There are many terminal entries in Fallout 3 and 4 which go into some details about the extremely unpleasant process of going from man to mutant. Regardless of which type of super mutant you encounter, they will probably not be friendly. They loathe humanity and often use humans as bait or food. The Vault 87 super mutants, those from the capital wasteland, have a special treat for their humans though. You see, they come from Vault 87, which still has the facilities to create new super mutants. Rather than just killing people, they'll often drag them back to the vault to turn them into a super mutant. Number 3. Aliens The aliens encountered in Fallout are Zaydans, from an unknown planet, who've been watching the Earth and abducting people since at least the 1600s. They look pretty similar to what most people think of when they hear the word alien. Short stature, long thin arms, big heads, and black soulless eyes. The aliens look scary enough, but it's what they do to you once they capture you that really takes things up a notch. Most people abducted are, in one way or another, experimented on in a process called vivisection. It's basically a dissection, but you're still alive, and you feel it. One experiment conducted involved taking a human and hybridizing it with alien DNA to create some sort of hybrid organism. 
the resulting creature is known as an abomination, and sometimes, when they're killed, they can be heard saying, thank you, suggesting that their very existence is agony. Number 2. The Ghost People The Ghost People are some of the oldest creatures in Fala New Vegas, as they worked construction in and around the Sierra Madre Casino prior to the Great War. They wore hazmat suits designed by scientists at Big Empty after a gas leak injured a worker. However, with use, the suits became stiff and their suit rusted shut, forever locking the workers inside. The cloud around Sierra Madre was also a Big Empty creation, and it transformed the workers into the ghost people that they are now. Their name comes from the holograms that they hunt around the villa. Perhaps the scariest part about the ghost people is how little we know about them. Some travelers have managed to make their way to the Sierra Madre, hoping to claim their fortune from the legendary casino, many of whom have fallen victim to the ghost people. What happens to them after they're dragged into the cloud is a mystery. Maybe they're eaten, maybe the cloud just kills them, maybe the ghost people torture them in a twisted way of seeking revenge against those who damned them to suffer in their suits for hundreds of years. Number 1. Humans Alright, hear me out. The humans who inhabit the wastes are, for the most part, worse than any other creature or species out there. If this list was just about single organisms, it would be different, but it's not. Let's just go down a list of things humans have done to each other since the end of the world. Cannibals kill and eat other humans, raiders torture people, the legion crucifies people, murder is about as common as stepping in gum is today, Humans kidnap and rape each other often quite frequently, some do twisted experiments on others that end with them wishing for death. If you see someone down the road, you have no idea what's gonna happen. They might just be a simple traveler, they might have a group waiting just around the corner to sell you into slavery. You never know, for every good-hearted Samaritan, there's three people who are more than happy to kill you and take your pants, or your sunglasses, or whatever it was you had that they wanted. Alright, that's going to do it for this video about the 7 scariest Fallout creatures. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything, leave a like. Leave a dislike if you didn't enjoy the video or didn't learn anything. Follow me on Twitter at MittenSquad. My name is Paul of Mitten Squad. Have a wonderful day.